Hi, I'm Loli, and I'm so glad you are here. Let's start with this wood round, this little wood circle from Dollar Tree, and this tote bag from Dollar Tree. We're going to go ahead and remove that tag and the jute cord off of the board. And then we're going to go ahead and take that wood round, and we're going to tuck it inside of the bag. Just right there, making sure that the picture in the bag is right at the center of the wood round. Then we're going to go ahead and cut off that excess. We are going to keep the rest of the bag because I'm sure I can use it for a different DIY. We can even use that top trim. Now it's time to go ahead and take some Mod Podge and put it all over the front of this wood round. I just make sure to be generous with the amount because I want this to soak through the fabric of the tote bag. Here I was being very careful to keep the fabric nice and centered. I'm gonna make sure that this everything is in place before I go ahead and smooth the fabric right down onto the mud patch. Here I'm just making sure to remove any bubbles and any wrinkles. Here I'm making sure that it fits nicely with that rang on and I'm going to come in here in all the edges that are still left in and adding another layer of Mod Podge to make sure that those edges stay down. Then I'm going to add Mod Podge to the top as well to seal everything in and to protect the fabric as well. And while this dries, I'm going to take this circle from Dollar Tree as MDF and I'm going to paint it with one coat of my full card rich rack paint and while that dries I'm going to create a hanger so I'm taking these tan color beads from this set that I got uh, from Dollar Tree that has all these different colors they're part of the Easter the core section and then I'm using some black beads that I also got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use them on here so I'm adding a little bit of uh, tape to the edge of my jute cord this is the same cord that I removed from the wood round in the beginning and I'm just going to go ahead and thread my beads on there. I used three beads to one black until I had my hanger just like this. Now that this is nice and dry, I'm going to take my emery board and just as I thought it used with some paper, I'm going to go ahead and sand off the excess fabric from the edges of the wood round. Friend, if you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. And I would love to have a happy and healthy relationship with you, so please go ahead and subscribe. It is free and it means the world to me. And here is the wood round all nice and sandy. Then I took my weeder and I'm going to go ahead and poke the holes that are in the wood round right back into place. So I'm able to go ahead and tie my hanger. I just added a little bit of glue to the edge of the jute cord and I'm going to go ahead and tie tightly against the wood round. And I'm going to take the beads and put them through the two pieces of twine, the tail and the body of it. So I have a nice seamless look. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process with the other side. Now it's time to go ahead and attach the round piece right here on top of it. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that excess piece of cord. But of course, I'm going to go ahead and tuck it into the rest of the beads as I did with the previous one just so I have a nice seamless look and I don't have no tail sticking out. And I wanted to make sure that I had nice leeway there to move my things around. So now I'm just going to take a combination of hot glue and gel super glue to attach this onto the wood round. And that is it. Look how cute that turned out. Let me know what you think. Today's video is part of an opening by collaboration. This is Sunflowers and Bees opening by collaboration that is hosted by Tasha from Sunflower Tasha DIYs and by Miss Cindy from C9 Designs. The links to their channels and to the playlist will be linked in the description, description box below and also pin in the comments. Make sure to head on over to the channels and to the playlist and show everyone some love. All right, let's head on over to the next inspiration. For this one, I'm going to use these jars that I got from Dollar Tree and these candle holders that I got from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and make sure that my candle holes is nice and clean and we're going to go ahead and add some E6000 to the raised edges of the candle holders. Then we're going to go ahead and remove the stickers from the bottom of the jars. And we're gonna go ahead and place that candle holder to the bottom of the jar 
and we're going to repeat this with the second one as well and let them sit and dry overnight. The next day we're going to come in with some of these B little lights from the Dollar Tree and I have two sets. I went to go ahead and wind them around my hand trying to keep them at different levels and then I'm going to put that power bank I'm going to stick it to the lid but I'm going to make sure to stick the side that does not have the screw to change the batteries and I repeated this process with both of the jars as you see here I had a little bit of a struggle keeping them from all falling to the bottom so I wind up the cable closest to around the power bank and then I screw the cap back on place so I had the bees sit at different levels so they look like they were flying around inside of the jar. And of course I repeated the same process with the other jar as well. And look how stunning these came out. Let me know what you think. For our next inspiration, we're going to use these elusive little bee cages that I found at Dollar Tree and two candle holders as well. I'm going to use these candle holders that are black and we are going to embellish these a little bit. So I'm going to come in with this color from Dollar Tree. It's actually, not Dollar Tree, I'm sorry. This is full card, metallic in the color copper. And I'm going to add it to both of these candle holders. I was expecting this to be a color that is a lot closer to the bees that the cage has. But for some reason, it came out looking more gold than copper. So don't you worry. That is fine. This is going to be one layer of metallic that we will add to it. And now comes the rose gold. So the rose gold is going to tie everything together. So I'm adding it right on top of that gold. But I'm doing it in such a light coat that you have both those colors coming through, having that beautiful rose gold paint over it. And I think it was the perfect color to complement the bees. So I added that color to both of the candle holders and make sure that they were nice and dry. Then I took some E6000 and I'm going to add it to the edges of each one of the candle holders. And then I place the cages right on top of them. And let them sit the dry overnight. Next day, it's time to embellish this. So we're going to go ahead and open up those cages. And they don't open all the way, guys. I don't know why. But anyway, I didn't need them to open up that much anyway. I'm taking some of these votive candles from Dollar Tree and we're going to throw them right in there. But I figured, you know what, it was looking too plain for me. You know already, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so I took some of this boxwood that I got from Walmart and we're going to add individual pieces of it all along the perimeter of the cage, uniting them together at the center, just creating like a bed of greenery for my candle. I want to take a quick moment to say thank you to my subscribers for subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing. All these things help me tremendously. They help my channel grow and I appreciate you very much for them. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and join the Lolly Dee's Creations family. It is free and it means the world to me. All right, then I continued adding two sprigs for every little opening of the cage until I completely had the cage completely surrounded as you see there. Then it's time to add the little candle right at the center of the bed of boxwood. And that is it. I repeated it with the other side and look how cute those look. These are stunning. These are my favorites. I left the very best for last. I hope you love them as much as I do. And here is the final reveal. I hope you enjoy these. And don't forget to tell me which one of these is your favorite. Okay? You know I love to see your comments and to get your feedback on this.
my friends as always thank you so much for watching be blessed be a blessing and craft responsibly and if you would like to follow me on social media here are my social media links and don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist if you would like to watch some more of my videos here's a suggestion and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well thank you so much for spending time with me today you're amazing bye